Well, students at a local polytechnic are getting a leg up in the world of artificial intelligence. They are now experimenting with generative AI for their projects. As such, software can churn out and create original content on its own. Now, Tamasic Polytechnic design students say it has helped them generate ideas and come up with rough sketches for their storyboards. This process used to take months, but now takes just minutes. This means that students can focus on fine-tuning their project's final design. Lecturers have also been trained to teach AI classes more effectively. The Poly says generative AI is useful across modules and can be used to create fashion apparel or store concepts. And even design a metaverse for an architecture course. But even with the latest tech, students will still have to put in hard work. Generative AI can be infused across uh, the entire creative process. So what we're seeing here is that generative AI as a tool and as a process can be used to augment the creativity of our students. Uh, students ultimately still have to be the curators as well as the designers to determine what actually works for their projects. What exactly does generative AI entail for educators and students alike? Mr. Ku, we just heard from, he joins us now to help us get a deeper understanding of the impact of this new technology. Mr. Ku, first we just heard from you, you said uh, AI is infused across the entire creative process. Uh, is that the reason you have decided to park uh, this new AI studio in the School of Design? Um, generative AI obviously has applications in various design domains. And as we can see in our students' uh, projects, um, we teach uh, communication design, product design, film, fashion design, as well as interior architecture. So the new AI studio is an initiative by the School of Design. And this is in response to the rise of Gen AI, which is a little over a year ago. And we actually formed a task force to look at the threats and opportunities with this technology. So the intention of the studio is to carve out time and space really for lecturers and students to experiment with Gen AI, because we believe in keeping our students up to date on the latest tech developments in the tech world, as well as embracing the concept of AI as an ally to design. Um, I think it's important to mention that the new AI studio is part of the uh, Tomasic Poly's ongoing efforts to embrace AI technologies as part of our strategy to uh, improve learning and teaching. And this is an alignment to Singapore's national AI strategy which seeks to expand the use of AI across various sectors. Mm, now, as far as you know, Mr. Ku, this is the first generative AI studio in our schools or tertiary institutions. Uh, uh, does that put us, in terms of education, ahead of the curve, behind the curve? How significant is this for Singapore? Mm, AI is an emerging technology, and we can see that it has made really significant advancements in recent months. And uh, it's clear that um, it will have profound and really far-reaching impact across various sectors. Um, in line with TP's uh, forward-thinking philosophy as well as our future-oriented education, what we are really doing is to seize the moment to equip students and in turn our future workforce to take full advantage of the benefits that are provided through AI. All right, Mr. Ku, uh, I'll pick you up on that. Uh, to equip, th these are very high-flown ideals. You want your students to be, I suppose, future fit, as they like to say. But your teachers will need to be leading these students. If we talk about lack of talent in so many sectors, teaching is one of them. So you're looking at not just very really apt in AI, but really apt in everything else so that they can have this integrated uh, thing that they teach the students. Are you going to find it hard to find teachers like that? Well, I, I think uh, AI is a really a rapidly evolving field. And um, in the process of hiring, um, finding teachers, I mean, first and foremost, to, to, to come in to, as educators, um, and as well as at the same time, if you look at the national AI strategy, it also mentions that um, it recognizes that AI now needs to be moving from opportunity to necessity. So we recognize that lecturers and educators will now need to be well-versed in generative AI. And Very uh, quickly, one challenge yes, for Mr. educators Kuhl, they, they, in general, they need to be, but can they be? Is that hard to find? Very quickly. The need to be, but can they be? Can you find people like that yes, and keep I, I them think, as well? I think um, whether we can find, uh, one challenge will be that, you know, um, we recognise that lecturers will need to continue to attend training and conferences 
to understand developments in this space. Um, so whether you come in um, well-versed or not, um, we already have put in place um, some you know, plans to ensure that lecturers um, are already uh, equipping themselves, uh, whether it's in-house training, whether it's attending conferences, external training, engaging with industry partners. And what we have done in recent months is to form a community of practice where we share, we collaborate, we share knowledge across schools, as well as you know whatever resources we can find around design and gen AI. So whether, um, you know, I mean, we recognize the need to be, but uh, we are providing the platform for lecturers to really you know, um, understand the developments in this space. So does the national AI strategy uh, also give you some guidance on ethics? And will ethics, in fact, be part of the curriculum in your institution, given the controversies uh, around generative AI and the fact that the rules are still being written? Yeah, I, I think uh, this is really an important topic because um, we are aware that Gen AI has uh, ethical implications in various areas. For example, data privacy, um, plagiarism, copyright infringement, and even misinformation, right? So while new norms are being debated around the world regarding the use of AI, uh, Tomasic Poly recognizes that, you know, they're, they're out of view that in the long term, uh, Gen AI is going to be a very powerful tool for creativity and productivity. And what we are doing is to choose to equip students with these skills earlier rather than later. Um, with regards to how will this be infused into the curriculum on the topic of ethics, um, what we have done is we have brought in expert voices, for example, from industry, um, whether it's Sustainable Living Lab, to come in to deliver talks to our students about you know, some of the considerations around proper use of AI. Uh, we also have invited colleagues from our course um, in IIT school uh, in Applied AI to share with our students. And our approach is really to educate and uh, inform them about some of these ethical considerations, the proper use of AI. We must recognize that Gen AI is still evolving. And what we will do is to um, you know, do our due diligence to update our students and faculty as and when um, we um, see official guidelines and regulations regarding the use of AI are being put in place. Well, we do wish you all the best and we do thank you for those insights, uh, Sean Koo, Assistant Director of Academic and Foundation Studies at the School of Design, Tomasek Polytechnic.